Utah death row inmate Tabron Honey's last effort to stop his execution. Yeah, his attorneys filed a new lawsuit which was discussed in court today. Now, Honey is scheduled to be executed via lethal injection next week on August 8th. He murdered his ex-girlfriend's mother back in 1998. Amanda Gilbert is live tonight outside the Matheson Courthouse with what Honey's attorney argued and why the judge dismissed it. Yeah, guys, I was in court here just after 9 this morning, and things lasted until early this afternoon. Today is important because last week, the Utah Board of Pardons and Parole denied clemency for Honey, meaning the execution would move forward. Today was another attempt to stop or slow down things. This man, Tabron Honey, has been sentenced to death, and he's scheduled to be executed at midnight in just over a week. Part of that claim is about adequate notice. Which but today we heard from Honey's attorney, Eric Zuckerman. He argued in court the execution protocol laid out for his client is, quote, unclear and inconsistent. The Department of Corrections intends to carry out an execution without accurate or coherent written protocols. He said the protocol hasn't been updated enough since the last execution of Ronnie Lee Gardner back in 2010. He mentioned questions surrounding number of syringes, backup dosages, how the drug is used and stored. It's dangerous and it's leading to an unnecessary risk of a botched execution. We're going to evaluate our options. But the state, which did not interview with media after, said its protocols are understandable. They also said the drug that will be used, pentobarbital, has been used in executions in states across the country. In the end, Judge Linda Jones granted the state's motion to dismiss this lawsuit. Mr. Honey has not sufficiently pled that any inconsistency or deficiency in the UDC's protocols or procedures governing the use of pentobarbital will cause actual harm in violation of a constitutional right. She added, the potential injury he identifies is speculative at best. Meaning as of today, the plan for Honey's execution is moving forward. And the state did also argue that they honored Honey's request to ditch the original plan of using a more experimental three drug combo for the execution and instead use the drug they're using now. Amanda Gilbert, KUTV, 2 News.